do? Did you get it? What? Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. The blaster's ringing down to Raidman now. Nice. Are you okay? No, I'm doing great. I think I just had a life-changing experience, Gus. What do you mean? Yeah, I was, I was, I was running. Uh, I was being chased by a very angry Rottweiler wearing uh, catcher's gear, and I had uh, an epiphany. Wait a second. The Rottweiler was wearing catcher's gear? No, Gus, that would be crazy. I was wearing the gear. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So I'm running, and I realize two things. One, I have a giant piece of beef jerky in my left front pocket, so I grab it and I toss it, and then all of a sudden the Rottweiler doesn't care about me anymore. Two, I realize in life we, we never have as much time as we think we do. What do you mean? I mean, Jules. I mean, all this time, right? We talk, we do our thing, and, I, and I'm like, you know, if something's supposed to happen between us, it'll happen, just boom, like magic beans coming down on me. But the truth is, my God, she could die today, and she would never know how I feel. So, what are you gonna do about it? I do this. Good news, Poppy. Yeah, I, I heard they got the cure. I hadn't heard that, but it doesn't matter anyway. Detective O'Hara doesn't have Thornburg. Really? All the tests came back negative. She's got quite an immune system. That's incredible. Uh, do you mind if I'm the first one to tell her? Be my guest. Great. Excuse me, Sean. Not now, Gus. This will only take a minute. Can it wait? I'm about to tell Juliet something important. Why don't you go down to the cafeteria and get us some tricolor jello? Sean. Please. I've got to get through this, man. Come on. Uh, look, Jules, there are things that you need to know, and I have to say them. Juliet, you don't have the Thornburg virus. What? What? Are you kidding? No, Dr. Raidman just told me. Oh, my God! It looks like you have more time than you thought. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I am not going to die in this disgusting room. That's so, that oh. is so good. <laughs> But uh, uh, I still want to say what I was going to say, if that's okay. Sure. Okay, uh, Jules, uh, how do I want to say this? Okay, you know how when we were kids, there were all those cool prizes at, at the bottom of cereal boxes? Yeah. Okay, well, there, there are two kinds of kids. There's the kid who flipped the box over and, and opened it from the bottom and, and grabbed the prize right away. And then there was the kid who waited patiently and ate bowl after bowl of cereal until, until the prize just tumbled out on its own. There's also a third kid named Mikey who'll eat anything, including the prize. Uh, he's not really important right now. Okay, and? I didn't wait. I, I didn't wait for my Dakota ring or, or my Frankenberry action figure when I was a kid. So what am I waiting for? All I know is that I don't want to miss out on the prize. What are you trying to say, Sean? That I... Hmm? That I... I don't know. Hey! I heard the good news! Come here! Ah. Yo, sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. sorry. Too much? A little bit. Just don't say anything. I wasn't. 